Rest in Peace, Rural America by Charles L. Ciancio. In the beginning, land use practices were terrible. Humans ripped and snorted across the land. Fish were abundant. Starting in the 1970s, fish populations reached historic lows. Heavy-handed, poorly developed, and poorly administered land use restrictions were applied and rural folks suffered. After 30 plus years, many, many, many fish life cycles, billions of restoration dollars, a bunch of pseudo-scientific brainstorming, an application of heavy-handed land use regulations, fish populations remain at historic lows and in some areas have dropped lower. Maybe it's time to stop clubbing the producers of natural resource products over the head with unjustified and not factually supported land use restrictions, and it is time to look elsewhere. Maybe the holy grail of cute and cuddly predators grab for restoration dollars and other unaccountable regulatory actions need a better look. Maybe clubbing and killing returning hatchery fish and hatchery spillways and shutting down properly run fish hatcheries has not been a good idea. Maybe proper hatchery activities can be used to help produce more fish versus letting an uncontrollable ocean and haphazard mother nature run the show. Maybe, just maybe, some folks need to get their heads out of their rear ends. Rest in peace, rural America takes on these questions with information factually supported by what has been lived and experienced for over 40 years by the author, a California registered professional forester. For contradictory information to be considered, it must first have a similar factual basis and not be based on theory. This book provides information that fits into the hot button issues of our time. There is a fourth branch of unelected government folks and a broken regulatory development process that is hurting this country and everyone in it. A real life, upfront, and close experience with this problem is provided by what is happening in rural America. As a rich country, it has been easy for us to accommodate inappropriate environmental and regulatory thinking, to ignore how the use of natural resources affects us all, and to make use of natural resources and even smaller part of our economy. Everything we need and want, food, shelter, frills, starts with use of natural resources. Politically correct public review processes involving inexperienced people are allowing set aside and regulatory decisions to be made without utilizing proven historical and peer reviewed science, site specific facts, logic, and common sense. Then, without adequate oversight, unelected public entities and judicial system are allowed to routinely apply these poor decisions in an unprofessional, improper, and sometimes abusive manner. The result is inappropriate and unjustified lockup of natural resources, an ability to maintain in-country manufacturing infrastructure, destruction of rural communities dependent on production of natural resource products, loss of middle-class jobs throughout the country, destruction of the middle class throughout the country, increased dependence on imports of all kinds often detrimentally produced in third world countries. There is reason to believe future wars will not just be fought over oil. Rural folks are not better than city folks. They are simply a part of what is good in this country and the country will be less for their loss. No management means less diversity haphazard fire, damaged property, damaged natural resources, lost habitats, and injured and dead species and humans. Active planned management and disturbance means more diversity, increased productivity, more natural resource and habitat protection, more food, more sex, increased species populations, and prosperity for species and humans. Yes, humans have done bad things, but a fair, open-minded review finds Mother Nature does heal and humans applying technological know-how based on historical and peer-reviewed science, site-specific facts, logic, and common sense can give better results than a haphazard Mother Nature. Rest in Peace, Rural America by Charles L. Ciancio.